what's up everybody welcome back to the channel cnn said we're gonna foia the video we gonna we're gonna put that paperwork in we're gonna dot our eyes we're gonna cross the t's we're gonna wait it out we know it's settled okay she did what she had to do for her peace of mind but we want to see where this hotel at she mentioned they dropped the video that everyone has probably seen by now and i'm just giving a short commentary on it my mouth just fell open but here's the thing i believed every word she said diddy has always been talked about as being violent and abusive towards his women in his life i want to say j-lo even mentioned it or hinted at it or some of her friends but he's had a reputation of being a crappy dude to his women however cassie came out and, and itemized everything and cnn said we want to see for ourselves and then bam drop the footage i'm gonna let the video play be sure to comment below were you was it you? Were you one of the people that said she's lying? That it was a money grab? And here's a lot of uh, another thing. People like to say they just doing it for money. Why not? You deserve to be compensated when you go through something traumatic. If you can be compensated for it monetarily, that's just what it is. And whatever the dollar amount, because they never confirmed the dollar amount, but I believe she asked for thirty million. They didn't confirm she got the thirty million. My opinion is she did. Maybe she got more. She deserved every dollar and then some. Let me know down in the comments as you watch it. What is your thought? So, so before we get into the video, too, one more thing. Was y'all peeping? Was y'all peeping um, Diddy's Instagram? Was y'all peeping what he was posting? I'm going to play a clip of it here. But I'm thinking maybe he thought rod what not rod wave is it love rod and i think a couple of other people dropped out of the lawsuit like he was winning like na 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 and he was posting you know like time will tell the truth it did it did we finding it uh-huh do it take this long to find the truth it do you know what i'm saying i'm gonna play the little clips from his instagram and then we're going to get into the cnn exclusive video You hate on a nigga. I don't why? understand why you hate on me, nigga. We don't understand. Show love, nigga. It don't uh, show nothing. It don't cost nothing to show a nigga love, I was doing nigga. this getting money. Show a nigga some love, nigga. Wabble dee dabble dee. Niggas out here don't love me, nigga. They don't love So what did you think about Diddy and those posts? Didn't I say it looked like he was feeling himself? And then CNN came and bopped him. Like came and shut all that down. Let's get into the CNN video. New surveillance footage obtained exclusively by CNN appears to corroborate some of the allegations of abuse against music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. The video, captured on multiple cameras, shows Combs assaulting his then-girlfriend Cassie Ventura in a hallway at a Los Angeles hotel in March 2016. A lawsuit filed by Ventura in November last year and settled the next day referenced actions that seem to match those seen in this video. There is no audio. According to the complaint, Combs became extremely intoxicated and punched Miss Ventura in the face, giving her a black eye, which, according to the lawsuit, prompted Ventura to try and leave the hotel room. The surveillance video obtained by CNN begins as she enters the hallway. The complaint says as she exited, Mr. Combs awoke and began screaming at Miss Ventura. He followed her into the hallway of the hotel while yelling at her. The complaint goes on to say he grabbed her and then took glass vases in the hallway and threw them at her. In the surveillance video, Combs can be seen grabbing Ventura and throwing her to the ground. As Ventura lies on the ground, Combs then kicks her twice and attempts to drag her on the floor back to the hotel room. Ventura is seen picking up a hotel phone. Combs seems to walk back to the hotel room, then returns and appears to shove her in a corner. Moments later, he can be seen throwing an object in her direction. According to Ventura's now-settled lawsuit, 
The pair began dating several years after they met in 2005. They parted ways in 2019. Combs' attorney said the decision to settle was in no way an admission of wrongdoing. Ventura declined to comment on the video, but her attorney told CNN the gut-wrenching video has only further confirmed the disturbing and predatory behavior of Mr. Combs. Words cannot express the courage and fortitude that Ms. Ventura has shown in coming forward to bring this to light. The video hasn't been seen publicly before and comes on the heels of a series of civil lawsuits alleging Combs' involvement in sex trafficking and sexual abuse. Allegations Combs has repeatedly denied. In a December 2023 statement, Combs responded to the claims in all the lawsuits saying, sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. CNN has reached out to representatives for Combs for comment. So what you think? What you think? You watched it. How do you feel? I was disgusted. You know, we're always disgusted when we see a woman being abused. Even a man. I don't want to see nobody being abused. But he put his feet on her, choked her up. And then to think that he did this with cameras going in these hallways and that he felt so powerful that nobody would ever find out and boom, the footage was still there. It makes you wonder, everyone has already been seeing he took out Kim Porter. Did you take out Kim Porter? Did you make a lot of people disappear? Okay, ain't no proof, and I don't want no lawsuit coming my way. So that's that's the alleged, that's the allegations of the public on the street. Okay, I'm not accusing you of Kim and Kim, in case your lawyer, who would probably never run across this video, but just in case your lawyer do, I am not saying that he killed Kim Porter. I'm asking, did you, did you kill anybody? Because the way you snatched Cassie around and stumped her. It was so despicable and disgusting that you are capable with that kind of unhinged anger that I, I believe you could kill somebody in my opinion. Okay, in my opinion. But you didn't. We don't have proof that you did. Um, Before the parking lot get loud because I'm picking up my daughter, y'all comment below and let me know your thoughts. Mm -hmm.